Yo, 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 what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And as you can see, it's been a while since I last posted. I'm not going to lie. It's been a hot minute since uh, I posted, you know, an iRacing gameplay on YouTube. And the reason for that is, as you can probably tell, I'm in a new apartment, completely new. You've never seen this before, never seen this backdrop. Long story short, I moved halfway across the US for graduate school. But that's not what's important. What is important is that I can now, since I have my own place, I can now get my own sim rig for myself and not use that old antique furniture that my um, I was using for my previous rig. I use my mom's like old ass chair. I'll throw a picture on screen right now. And it's what you've seen on all my iRacing videos. So yeah, we've upgraded. We've got the play seat trophy on deck, as you saw from the title of the video. So we're going to build it, put all our sim rig stuff on it and test it out. So please enjoy this video. Like if you do. And yeah, let's get it. Right, so as you can see, all the parts have been unboxed and it's not as big as I thought. Like, there's not as many parts as I thought. Like, I think that's the right way of putting it. Because the rig is meant to be, you know, a bit, you know, a bit more low profile, a bit more sleek looking, but I'm actually really surprised. There's only like three main components and then you have the seat, which is this active fit stuff that they say. So yeah, let's build it. I'm just shocked at how like lightweight and compact it all is. But yeah, let's see. I'm gonna pull up the manual now and uh, get to building. Righty-o, as you can see, the main frame is pretty much done, and it's tiny. It's really small. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty tall, right? I'm just worried I won't be able to fit in this damn seat. It just feels like way too short. I don't know. And I put it on the max length as well, so we'll see. I just, like, looking at it and, like, knowing I'm, like, rather big, I'm a bit worried, but... Yeah, let's see. Let's continue building and then we'll see if we can fit in the damn thing. <laughs>
All right, and there we have it. This is my new sim rig, the Placey Trophy. I think it's really, really good. As you just heard, no flex, very comfortable for how thin of a seat it is. The form factor is brilliant for my apartment. You know, it doesn't take up too much space and it looks the part, it looks like something you know, it looks like a piece of furniture. Obviously, with the sim rig stuff on it, it kind of gives it away. But if you didn't have a wheel on there, I wouldn't, you know, bat an eye and think it was just a regular chair, especially like because my desk is black and everything kind of matches. So yeah, very, very happy with my purchase. And I hope you did enjoy the video. Obviously, this means more racing gameplay to come. So please stay tuned for that. And if you have the Placey Trophy, let me know what you think of it. As I said, you know, in the very limited amount of time I've had it, no complaints so far. And it's definitely, definitely worth the money if you can get it on discount like I did secondhand. I think the asking price of it, you know, from PlaySeat directly is a little steep. I cannot lie, but if you can get it secondhand, I think it is an absolutely amazing option if you can't afford a full aluminium rig. Uh, if you don't have the space, you don't have the money. I think this is a great alternative. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like. And of course, subscribe if you like my content. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.